Dude, why the heck do I have two Bandos sets? Alright, listen here, children. Today, we need to play with the new armor that I didn't cover yet because I forgot it existed. We just dump this Bandos. So, so because the armors are new, it's still gonna be heck and expensive. But most importantly, one of you absolute geniuses suggested that I use Crystal Armor and Crystal Burt Zora. And when you said this, I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. Since full crystal and the crystal bow cost 10 mil versus a one bill bow. So we'll see how effective it is against Zora. So if you didn't know, today we're gonna be, oops, today we're gonna be covering uh, the weapons, the Blade of Seldor, the crystal bow, because the armor makes the crystal bow better. And um, I, th I think that's about it. So I do know you need to get, uh, so the helmet requires one crystal armor seed, the legs require two crystal armor seeds, and the plate body requires three. So I need six in total. I don't know how much these are going for. We might be about to lose a bunch of money. Oh, they bought. Oh, dude, easy. 13 mil. That's not bad. I expected to pay like 70 mil for all that. So that's all right. Um, okay, so we can make the full armor set now. Right, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need more crystal shards. So uh, how many do I have in the bank here? Grab that. And also, this crystal pickaxe, you know in my last video, if you haven't watched that, go watch it, the Zolcano video. Um, I bought the crystal uh, tool seed for 9 mil and now it's like 28 mil. <laughs> So I could totally dismantle this for some 20 mil profit, uh, but I don't know, maybe I'll, I might be doing Zolcano later for more crystal shards, so I'll keep that for now. Let's go see how much it takes to uh, sing these uh, crystals into the crystal armor. Can't get over how pretty this place is, dude. Alright, singing bowl. Hello, what can we make today? So I can make the helmet. Let's see how many crystal shards it takes. Okay, it took 40. <laughs> my, my character held the casket while he was doing it, that's hilarious. Alright, so 40 to make that, so I'm not maybe in this volcano for like, for, uh, for like two hours to get enough shards. So I'm guessing it's like 40, 60, and 80, so um, let's go to this volcano for a bit to get some shards, and then we'll be aight. Alrighty, so I went and I've got, I've got 72 shards total, I don't know if that's enough, but let's find out. Let me grab those crystal armor seeds real quick, see if we can make the uh, remaining pieces. Alright, so I'm guessing the plate body will take 40, and... What? I can only still make the helm. Oh my goodness, they must require like a loads of heck in crystal shards. Well, let's I'll get a hundred, see if that does anything. Alright, I've got a hundred shards now. I swear, if this isn't enough to even make like the plate legs, I'm gonna cry. So can we make it yes, we can make the legs. BAM! That really takes a hundred? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm guessing the plate body is 120. That would make sense. So Four hours of a uh, of volcano or whatever she calls volcano. Let's go. <laughs> Is the stuff you're missing out on when you don't come to volcano? Ooh, a crystal emblem. Can I catch this? Oh, dude. Are, they, are those meant to be good? Wait, what? I've never seen one of those before. Hold on. Yeah, they're meant to be nearly as good as dragon implings. Okay, I've got some rune darts. Whatever. As you can see, an update's about to hit that. That's going to update Zolcano and the gauntlet. And I've just been doing them for a few days to get all these crystal shards. But now that we have, I think it's 150 crystal shards for the plate body. And then I've got 17 to charge the blade of Seldor when I buy that back. So, I'm going to let this update hit. Uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna head and go make some full crystal armor and get testing. Okie dokie updates here. Basically, they've improved Zolcano a little bit. She's a little bit easier to kill, and there was a gauntlet change or something. I don't know. All right, make the crystal body, please. 15 kxp. Thank you very much. I don't even know the stats of this stuff. You know what? Let's get everything and then we'll look at the stats. So, I believe I need to go claim back. I need to go claim back my crystal bow that got stolen from me when uh when when the Song of the Elves got introduced. I need to bring her the crystal seed. So, if you see these crystal weapon seeds, that used to be three um crystal bows I think or like a crystal shield and a crystal bow or two so if you just grab those so I, I didn't even know about this but uh, when the update hit these all got reverted to seeds so then you take them to this girl right here she'll just give you everything about a crystal halberd uh, oh yeah so I need crystal bow so now she's giving me my crystal bows and a crystal uh, crystal halberd yeah before the update I had a crystal halberd and two crystal bows so uh, yeah that's how you get your weapons back if you hadn't gotten back already now we have 17 shards for the blade of Seldor so let's go and buy a blade of Seldor that I just sold the other day for 109 mil. So hopefully it hasn't gone up or I'm going to be upset. Gosh darn it, it's 110 mil. Let's see. Oh, instant bought. Maybe maybe it's not too bad. Oh yeah, it's gone down. Profit. So I sold mine for 109.5, now it's 108. Sweet. Alright, uh, do I need to, can I just, do, do I just throw this in here? <gasps> yes, I want to add, uh, let's add 10 for now. <gasps> Blade of Seldor. So each uh, one of these gives it 10 charges. Wait, no, 25 charges. 
So I add 10, that gives me 250 hits. So uh, let me just go and uh, gear up. All right, children, let's start with the uh, let's start with the basic stats of this armor. So this armor is just for generic range armor, plus 55. Let me pull out full armor deal to compare it. All right, so we've got plus seven prayer, got some okay defense bonuses. Let's slap on armor deal. So I'm looking at the mage defense. So armor deal is better mage defense, only slightly better mage defense. This, this has better prayer though. It has slightly better range defense, but then this crystal armor has worse melee defense. It's got a better mage and range compared to armor deals. So that's interesting. In terms of attack bonus, plus 55 versus plus 63. So armor deals better. But crystal armor has a set effect. So for each piece of crystal armor that you wear, the crystal bow gets a 3% damage boost and a 6% accuracy bonus. But if you wear the full set, aka legs, body and helm, you get a straight 30% accuracy bonus and 15% damage. In this gear, in like max range gear, I'm pretty sure this is, you look like a beast because the crystal armor matches the Ever's Assembler, which I'm super happy about. Look at that, that actually looks beautiful. And yeah, so you got plus 210 range. So as you can see, crystal bow is just plus 100 range bonus. When I put this on, it doesn't uh, apply the bonus to the stat, so it's a hidden it's a hidden boost. Like it doesn't do a plus fifteen percent damage to your range strength or anything. So the accuracy is sort of invisible. But also, let's jump on over to my house and hit some dummies. And don't worry, we'll go to Zora in a bit uh, with this setup versus the twisted bow because this is like budget twisted bow basically <laughs> with this full set because you get that fifteen percent damage bonus. All right, rigor preserve divine range potion. That's so all that does is keep my uh, my stats at at. 112 my range stat at 112 all right so i think we've got everything we can do all right and what's the max it gonna be in the crystal full crystal armor uh i might Pew! 36 wait are you serious that's terrible hold on let me take this off 32 so the full armor only gives you plus four to your max hit so it can only hit 36 that's so bad but the accuracy might be amazing i don't know is that honestly can it only actually hit 36 that is pretty bad all right now let me test the max hit <laughs> the blade. i was honestly i'm not gonna lie i was honestly expecting like a 44 or 45 oh well all right slap this divine super combat uh all right that's sort of max gear ignore the fire max cape just imagine it's an infernal max cape and slay it a 52, that's hefty. What about if a Slayer Helm on? 59 with a Slayer Helm on, ain't that beautiful? Let me go grab a Salve am Amulet, hold on. So a Salve Amulet doesn't stack with uh, a Slayer Helm, I'm pretty sure. So, we just we just put that back up, put the Fire Max Cape back on, and slay it. Oh, wait. Alrighty, so now let's uh, put the, get all this on, put the Salve Amulet on. So this, since you can't use the Slayer Helm with this Crystal Armor because you need the helmet to get the set effect, or to get the best set effect, it'll work out better to use the Salve Amulet and not a uh, Slayer Helm. Not that you can use this on Zora unless you have a task, of course, but um, okay, let's just try it. Rigor 112 prayer, max range with the Salve Amulet. Bam. Okay, that was more like it, a nice 42. Okay, that was hefty. With an anguish on, you can only hit 36. So if you're killing undead stuff, that's actually not bad. Like, that's actually not bad at all. Now, let's go see this in practice. So first, we'll start with the Blade of the Seldor. So to give you a comparison of what this is, this is basically a Garazi Rapier, which costs 170 or 180 mil, whereas this is 100 mil. So they have the same max here, except this is Slash and the Rapier is Stab. But also the Rapier doesn't require to be charged, and this does. So this is cheaper because you have to charge it. So, so if you want a level 75 weapon, this is probably the one to get if you don't care about Stab. Um. Yeah. To give you like a nice comparison of how good this weapon is or how okay it is. Oops. We're gonna, gonna pop back up with the piety. We're gonna we're gonna put this here. So what was the max hit with this? Oh, that's really the wrong cape. It was a 59. So an abyssal tentacle is 57. So it's only got plus two plus two max hit. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's terrible. Uh, so that's probably plus two or three over a four, maybe over a normal whip. Anyway, the places where this thing is actually better, where it's like actually the best in slot, is is nowhere. <laughs> Unless you're doing Theory of Blood and you can't afford a Scythe, then this is second best in slot, only second to the Scythe at Verzik. Otherwise, this weapon is pretty useless. It's a cheaper Garazi Rapier, which requires charges, which is annoying. But if you have loads of excess of Crystal Shards, then you may as well just get the cheaper version of the Garazi Rapier, unless you need Stab Stab. Now, on to the main event. I am gonna go get a gear for Zora, and um, I'm gonna go, actually, I need a Yoink Someone's Twisted Bow so I can compare kill times and stats and stuff, so let me go steal a Twisted Bow from someone. Yoink. Thank you. <laughs> Easy Tebow, that's how you get a Tebow, boys.
because they're still mine now. So if you don't know why I'm comparing these two setups, it's because I am the ultimate lazy boy when it comes to Zora. So rather than switching from mage to range, you can just camp the twisted bow and that's like pretty good kills an hour. So what we're gonna do is this is basically the only deviation in the setup. It's full armor bow and twisted bow versus full crystal and a crystal bow. So I'm gonna do just like a trip with each and see how many kills you can get and how long they take and all that. So um, let's make a spreadsheet and then, then I can do all the math. Alrighty, so uh, the only differentiating, oh my goodness, words are hard to say dude. The only like different cost between the T-bow and crystal bow setup is crystal bow, you're using charges, these charges to shoot, whereas a twisted bow, you're using amethyst arrows, or that's what I use at least. Um, As for a cost, so per shot of a crystal bow is 72 coins, if your crystal bows only cost 180k to recharge, which mine do. So it only cost me 72 coins per shot, whereas a twisted bow has 180 coins per shot, but so that's per arrow, but then your Avas Assembler will actually retract those uh, arrows, so it doesn't actually cost you 180 per shot. So, I don't know, once we test the Twisted Bow, after we've tested the Crystal Armor, we'll know how much the cost is. So, I think I've covered everything. Try to keep this nice and brief. Let's go and do some Zora. Let's see, first kill time. What's it gonna be? We got two minutes. That's not bad, like, at all, actually. That's only the first kill, so I can't really get a lot from that. So let's just hop right into a second kill. Because a twist bow can take up to two and a half minutes, depending how badly you hit. So, uh, let's see. Kill two. It was uh, two minutes, 30. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be seeing the result of this. It doesn't look too hot, you know what I mean? Got him. All right. So I'd say call that a fast kill, but it was, oh my goodness, it was two minutes. <laughs> okay, maybe this isn't going to be as close as I thought. I thought this method would be actually pretty decent. Um, but I'm just going to do a bunch of kills so I can get the average, and then I compare that to Twisted Bow averages. Got him. And now it's a 2.30. Yikes. What is this Zora loot? Zora is so garbage now. Dude, I have absolutely slaughtered Zora this kill. Unless I hit nothing now, I'm just gonna tank a hit so it dies faster. Now you hit my Venge. So I use one piece of food and, okay, 148, so that's a decent kill. That was a fast kill, dude, that's a fast kill. These kills are going, these go, they're going clean, dude, they're going clean. 216, garbage time, but I use no food, so yeah, it's all right. Oh my goodness, I slaughtered that kill as well. This should be a legal 150. Uh, that's pretty bad. 159. Let me just note that down. A dragon spear for a nice three minute kill. All right, I'm gonna do one more kill and then we're gonna switch up to the twisted bow loadout and then I'll tell you the average time for both of the gear setups. Pio Pio, it's your boy. Time to get a pet. Sweet, thanks. Those last two kills were awful. All right, let's go switch into twisted bow setup. I'm sick of these slow kills. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Ah, oh, look at these 40s. <laughs> nice pity. This snack is getting destroyed. <laughs> oh, goodness, it's so slow compared to the crystal bow. Oh, my god, 2 minutes 11? Okay, so this ain't looking too hot for the twisted bow. Come on, twisted bow, you're underperforming. Let's go. Kill number 329. Okay, I thought twisted bow was better than this. I'm not gonna lie. So, this actually might be closer than I thought. This is becoming actually really interesting because <laughs> crystal bow is, what, is like 900k maximum cost and this is one bill crystal armor isn't actually looking too bad right now i don't know, i need to bank i ain't got enough food for this bam one 154 i'm not gonna lie i thought the twisted bow would be performing a lot better than this so now i'm genuinely interested in these results here i think that was more of a reasonably fast kill yeah, yeah, yeah so a 130 like my personal best there that, that i got that with the twisted bow i just hit non-stop 50s so that's how fast it can be all right uh two more kills 145 eh. Two more kills, let's do this. 202, my goodness. This is the last kill, and then we're gonna top the averages, oh boy. The last kill has been executed. Right, what we got here, a 124. That's the fastest kill I got this whole time. Okay, right, so 124 to finish that off. Oh my goodness, I just saw the averages. That's actually, oh my goodness, that's, that's not bad. <laughs> okay, right, let's, uh, I'll get all the costs out of the way first. So, let me just head to the bank and grab the costs out, and then we'll look at the averages. Oh my goodness. Give me that Castle Wars music, beautiful. All right, so for the purposes of this, we're gonna be using the um, crystal armor just because it looks beautiful. Alrighty. Oh my goodness, it just looks so good with the assembler cape, dude. Okay, so in amount of charges we used on the crystal bow, it came out to 28.8K, assuming it's 72 charges per 
charge. I mean, 72 GP per charge. You can get it that cheap by buying the crystal or recharging your crystal bow from Ilfine like five or so times. And the twisted bow cost me uh, 54 amethyst arrows, which is just under 10k. That was over eight kills though, so let's divide that down. So we divide that by eight so we can get the cost per kill. Uh, that means we use just under seven amethyst arrows per kill for the twisted bow and 3.6k in charges per kill with the crystal bow, which comes out to, so this is about a third of the cost. Uh, but it's not too substantial. So I've mocked up a nice little spreadsheet that we can use on the side here. So as you can see, the average kill time for a Twisted Bow is 109 seconds, which is a minute 49. And for the Crystal Bow, it's 2 minutes and 16 seconds, or 136 seconds. That's quite the uh, quite the gap. And using my uh, loot from 10 hours of Zora last, uh, like last year or something, I went and calculated the bank time and factored that into the equation, so don't worry about it. So it comes out to so the Twisted Bow is 25.8 kills an hour, which is the same as my loot from 10 hours of Zora video which is between 25 and 27 kills an hour and for the crystal bow and armor it comes out to 19.4 kills an hour so so the twisted bow is 25% better than the crystal bow and armor in terms of kills an hour then we move on to the profit an hour so the profit an hour I've taken the profit value from my loot from 10 hours video which is 100k per kill on average including the supply costs and including the uniques so you do the 25.8 times a simple 100k with the twisted bow that means you're getting just over 2.5 mil profit per hour and with the crystal bow and armor, you're getting nearly 1.9 mil profit an hour. You know what? That's not that bad. Do you want, to, do you want me to tell you why? That's why. Twisted bow costs one bill, and to be a 75% as effective as the twisted bow, you could just get a crystal bow, which costs 900k max, and you need charges for the uh, all the all the um, armor. But in that time, it only used was that 116 charges from all the armor pieces. Not even that bad. And that profit now is factoring the separate supply costs, being the amethystaris versus the charges, aka coins, with the crystal bow. Like all name plug. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thanks. So, um, conclusion of this video is damn. I expected this to be absolutely awful, but it's not even that bad. It's 75% as effective as the Twisted Bow. So to make the uh, all the armor, you need um, you need six of these crystal armor seeds. That's like nine mil, maybe eight mil. And you need 300 crystal shards, which you get from skilling inside of Preftiness. See, that's an eight mil cost. And then the Crystal Bow, which costs 900k max. So you're looking at a maximum starting cost of like 10 mil, including supplies. Whereas the Twisted Bow is like, yeah, you, you straight need one bill to buy this thing. Thing. I'm ha I'm glad I did this video. I thought this was gonna be terrible, but this is actually not bad at all. Whoa, whoa, hold up there, Jack Surus. Editing Jack Surus here. Just uh, just putting a disclaimer out there. This is for the lazy method of Zora. If you're not lazy, you can just use a twisted bow. I mean, a twisted bow, a blowpipe, and a trident. All of which will cost you less than 10 mil, and you can get GP an hour as effective, if not like a little bit less than a twisted bow's GP an hour. Just take that into account. That's that is an option, not just crystal bow versus twisted bow. Alright, back to the video. This is editing Jakey. If you've been cleaned at the duel arena and you've got some crystal armor just just sitting there in the bank and a crystal bow, go to Zora because it's nearly 2 mil a GP profit an hour. So it's not even that bad. Obviously, there are better money making methods, but if you're like cleaned or you just have untradeable, so crystal armor, or for whatever reason you're balling, except you're not balling enough to have a twisted bow, then a crystal bow is not too bad. So you know what? This has been a productive video. In my opinion, this should be more, you should get more charges than 2,500. And also the Blade of Zelda sucks, give it something else. Give Blade of Zelda a special attack or something. And maybe buff the crystal armor, because it's not amazing, but it's okay. So I hope you found this video uh, entertaining and or educational. I sure found it educational. Also, I didn't die at Zora, I just want to point that out. Flex. I'm gonna go to the gym now, so I will see you in uh, maybe next week's update video because that's when they're updating the lecterns for uh, Teddy Tabs and stuff, so that would be interesting. Um, Subscribe, please. I want 100k subscribers. That's quite the flex and quite the YouTube play button. Thank you. Uh, join my Discord and join my clan chat because they're fun places to mess about in. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video.